Hey guys, sorry the lighting is a little off. Um, I'm just kind of improvising today. I have just my ring light. I'm sitting in front of a window, but it's like, it's like 6.30, so getting dark. Anyway, so I hope you can see me enough, but today I'm just chatting about my seven week postpartum update. I'm gonna try to make it quick. My little girl is sitting in a rock and play next to me, awake, doing fine for now, but that only lasts so long. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna talk about my seven week postpartum update, baby updates, um, mommy updates. So if you guys wanna continue to watch and know what's been going on, then give it a thumbs up and keep on watching. Hi, baby girl. My daughter is seven weeks old now and a lot has changed. She was born four pounds, 14 ounces. If you've been following me, you already know. Um, as of her five week appointment, she was six pounds, one ounce and 19 and a half inches long. So she's growing and gaining weight slowly but surely. Over the past two weeks though, I swear she's put on at least a pound. I think she's definitely seven pounds by now. Probably have like a nine week appointment, so I don't really know how much she weighs right now, but I, I swear she weighs probably seven pounds. She officially is out of all of her preemie clothes and fits in pretty much all of her newborn clothes. So that's sad to see the preemies go, but so exciting at the same time to see her grow and flourish and just thrive and doing so well. She had um, her second hepatitis B shot at the five week appointment and the doc, the pediatrician recommended that she take vitamin D drops. I do live in Maine and I know we hardly ever see the sun and obviously it's winter time and she's not going outside at all so she's not getting any vitamin D so I know that um, most babies are recommended to have a vitamin D supplement. So that is that. And then also when I was at her appointment, I had mentioned that, you know, we're gas drops safe to give her because she's so little. Um, and then, you know, I don't, I don't really know. The doctor had said that she recommended um, giving her probiotics instead of gas drops. That's because it will actually help her relieve gas and um, poop as well um, versus the gas drops don't really help her gut metabolize anything any better. Almost two weeks ago, um, I went and got probiotics and have been giving her them pretty much every single day. I have noticed 100% a different baby. She doesn't go through her like super fussy stage at night. She used to always be fussy like eight o'clock at night, like clockwork, super fussy, straining her little legs and she had gas um, problems pretty much every single night and she couldn't pass it on her own. Like you could tell it was gas. She would strain her little legs and push um, and her belly would be super hard, much less fussy and sleep so much better at night. And she just seems, seems so much happier. Another thing, we are exclusively breastfeeding still. So as of probably 10 days ago, right around where the time that I did the probiotic, I got the courage to take the nipple shield away one day because I was so sick of using the nipple shield because she knocks it off or it falls off or you know it's really difficult to breastfeed when anyone's over and it just takes so much longer i mean it was fine it was working fine she was it, it was fine it was just sort of a nuisance and annoying um so i got the courage one night to take it off and see what happened and the little girl has been latching ever since thank god um it's actually been going really well. You know, there are times where she struggles for a little bit, so we have to regroup and I have to wipe myself off and then, you know, re-latch and it's been working absolutely amazing. And I honestly feel like ever since then, I mean, it could be because she's going through a growth spurt, but I feel like ever since then, she's packed on the pounds and she sleeps so much better with the probiotics and the nipple shield gone. So I think that um, with the nipple shield, she was having to work so much harder to get milk that she would tire out before she really got so full um, off of the milk. So now I've noticed her eating time has shortened and I'm hearing her totally gulp really quickly. And so she's able to get full and satisfied and not tire out before she does get full. If she's not sleeping, she pretty much wants to be held all the time. So it's kind of tough on mom to film as much as I was filming before. I mean, I can film while holding her, but it's like I'm hunched over, my back hurt. And so she's a little bit more needy during the day, which is why I haven't been filming um, as much as I actually thought I would be. Um, when she sleeps, it's 
usually only for maybe, yeah, I don't know, an hour and a half at a time. Some days she'll really not nap that much. When she was brand new, newborn, um, she would sleep like no matter what all the time. So now she's just awake a little bit more. And at night, so the past week, she has slept so amazing at night. She will only wake up like one to two times in the night versus waking up every three hours. Now, if she is really tired and she goes to bed, like say around 10, she won't wake up again until three o'clock in the morning, maybe two, three o'clock in the morning. And then if she wakes up around 6 a.m. to feed, she'll go right back to bed and not wake up till like nine o'clock. So I'm really lucky with that. She doesn't wake up super early yet. She's only seven weeks, so I know her schedule is gonna change all the time. It already has changed so many different times and right when I get used to a certain um, schedule, she changes it <laughs> again. It's like four and a half hours on average now at night and then during the day, it varies some days I have to wake her up all the time to feed because she'll sleep for hours and I really don't I mean I don't want to wake her up every three hours to eat anymore but I definitely want to um, make sure she is eating enough during the day so that she sleeps really good at night so it's just a fine balance between you know mom's sanity and not feeding every five minutes and you know, making sure she's eating enough so that she doesn't wake up all night to eat. And I just go based on um, on demand now with breastfeeding. I just feed her whenever I know she's hungry. And I actually, the app down here called Sprout. Um, it's the orange one. You're okay. Oh, it's so sweet when she's sleeping. She has nightmares sometimes. Oh my gosh, <laughs> breaks my heart. Um, anyway, ever since I downloaded that app and I've been keeping track of her feedings and what time and how long and her diaper changes, it really helped me because I was scared when we got rid of the nipple shield. Um, I was scared because I didn't want her to lose weight and I didn't want to like starve my baby without knowing, you know, just making sure she latched and got enough food. So I've been keeping track of all of her diapers and then keeping track of her feedings so I can actually tell like sometimes at night if she starts eating um, and then takes a long time in between and then we switch sides and we change her diaper and all of that, the feeding itself could take like an hour and then she's hungry again in a half hour. So I feel like no way she's hungry. She just ate. But if you look at it from start to finish or from start to start, it's like an hour and a half uh, of time has gone by. So in reality, that's very normal for a baby to go, you know, even an hour in between feedings, in between start to start feedings. So that really helped me say, okay, nope, she is hungry. She's not just fussy, like looking for other reasons. I'm looking at the clock and I'm saying, okay, yeah, sh you know, she's probably hungry. So that's helped me a lot to get that schedule, not schedule, but just to kind of realize like she's hungry versus me thinking I know like no way she's hungry. She just ate. So that's helped me a ton, at least for a new mom. Um, keeping track of that is versus in my head. Um, keeping track of it's been really, really helpful. As far as me goes postpartum, all of my postpartum bleeding stopped. I want to say like, I don't know four weeks and ever since then I've been wearing a panty liner and it's just kind of a necessary thing I've been wearing a panty liner forever it feels like but it's fine I don't have any cramping or anything weird like that um, I'm feeling great postpartum wise I'm so happy to have her and I'm running on no sleep but I really don't even feel tired it's just I don't know I just don't really feel tired even though I probably should be I have been getting postpartum pimples, that's for sure. All of my hormones are changing still. Great. Um, I had my six week appointment, postpartum appointment um, a few days ago and everything was back to normal. I'm all healed and good to go. Blood pressure was down, back to normal. Um, my pulse was back to normal. Everything was back to normal and great. She's starting to kick a lot. She's starting to coo. I am trying to get her to laugh and smile. I know laughing comes later. Smiling, they say anywhere between six weeks and 12 weeks. She definitely has the neonatal like sleeping smile or gas smile, they call it. She's smiling all the time in her like in between sleep stage. In the beginning, because she was so small, the doctor recommended, the her pediatrician recommended, don't put her on her 
tummy on the floor yet, just do it on your chest. She's kind of graduated from the chest tummy time. She doesn't love it as much as she did when she was little. So once in a while, you know, in the morning, we'll do a couple of minutes of tummy time. And she's, she's cool. She chills for a couple of minutes on tummy time and she lifts her head. She's so strong. Her head is really stable now. Um, it's the forward motion is not so stable, but as far as the back motion, um, she can hold her head up pretty good. Um, so we do tummy time a couple of minutes a morning and she doesn't really grasp the idea of stuffed animals or toys yet in front of her. She kind of just glazes over them. She's more attracted to lights and things like that. She's obsessed with music. If you guys watch my Snapchat, you saw um, she's obsessed with the song from Ed Sheeran, um, Shape of You. For some reason, whenever she's fussy, if I play that song like shh and crank it, she 100% calms right down. She loves it. She'll either fall asleep or just chill. It's so funny. I want to record another video of her fussing and then playing that song and watching her just chill. She sleeps in a bassinet beside um, beside our bed every single night and she's uh, she sleeps swaddled. She loves bath time now. The first two weeks she was home, she absolutely hated bath time. I think she was just too cold and too little. She didn't know, but we've actually um, done the bath thing together and as long as she stays warm and um, in the water and then she likes it. I won't say loves it yet, but she tolerates it and she likes it. One thing I will say is she had really bad baby acne. In my opinion, it was really bad Ugh. to the point where it like covered her scalp and one ear and both of her cheeks. Poor girl. So she's just getting over that now. Her skin is just drying up and flaking off, but the baby acne for the most part, it's pretty much cleared up. That was rough for mom. I put some breast milk on it some days, some days I left it alone, some days I just did the warm water thing. They say, for the most part, there's not much you can do. You just have to wait it out. So that was rough. I didn't want anyone to see her like that, but it's very common and she's still beautiful and I still love you so much. Anyway guys, keep up with me on Snapchat. Um, I'm like back on the filming game. Just bear with me. Um, I think I'm gonna start vlogging because it's gonna be so much easier. Literally like I have to hold her all the time. So it's a little harder to get um, a whole setup going. So I think I just might start vlogging. Um, not even vlogging, but just informal um, videos. Like if I do my newer must-haves or my pregnancy must-have videos, I might just film, that, um, film them on the couch and you know figure it out so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this update i will be back with my newer must-haves next and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah.